Okay guys, I am going to give you price targets for Bitcoin uh, multiple charts to pay attention to. I'm going to give you price targets for Litecoin and Ethereum, and we're going to cover the dollar index and the Dow Jones. Before we do, guys, I am giving away two of these 2020 American Eagle .991 ounce silver brilliant uncirculated coins. There will be two winners, two coins, one coin per winner. All you have to do is leave a like comment and subscribe you do those three things you qualify to win the next live stream i'll use a random comment selector to pick those winners and if you don't win do not worry i have plenty more coins to give away pretty soon when these are all uh, given away i'm going to do 2021 so just want to let you know that also uh guys if you are subscribed to my charts i am doing a, a, a chartathon on friday I'm going to be updating all of the charts, uh, all, uh, all the altcoin charts, all the Bitcoin charts, all the metal charts, and all the stocks charts. So I'll have a lot of work ahead of me. But basically, I made this tweet. So if you do have access to my Twitter, which is now private, uh, leave a, a post down here. This is where I'm taking suggestions. So if you have certain time frames, certain indicators you want me to add, uh, I'm going to do a number system so it's easier to load up charts when I, when I uh, make tweets about them. But anyways, any suggestions, make sure you come here and uh, leave a tweet. Um, let me know what you want me to do, and I'll implement that when I start creating new charts. But let me cover a few things here. By the way, if you want to access any of these charts, all these charts are available on my website. I have all coins, bitcoins, precious metal stocks, and tutorials. Tutorials and stocks are separate. Tutorials do not teach you how to trade my charts. Tutorials teach you my method of charting I came up with so you can create these charts yourself. But uh, just for $39 a month, you get access to all coins, bitcoins, precious metals, uh, access to my Twitter and our Discord. Uh, again, it's $39 a month. You can click here to subscribe. If you have any questions, just contact me through the contact page. So let me go through a few things here. Just to show you a couple calls. Uh, so this was two hours ago. I uh, said, look, 44,200 looks like the next point to catch a bounce. And I was referencing two charts right here. And again, these are the charts. This is one with the ring. And this is the one with, um, I have a trend line here. But let me just show you how this played out and why I was saying that would be the point. So right here I said the ring I was referring to for possible balance when I was talking about 44,200 right here. I can't unselect that. So again, you can see I was saying, look, this is a possible point to catch a balance. And you can see when we hit this point, we caught a balance. But notice, so again, I, it's not enough just to have one point. Look, I was pretty confident we'd get a balance here because we've been respecting this FIP circle so well. Uh, we came down, we found on the smaller time frame, we caught a bounce, pushed up as resistance, we blew through it here, but, and I'm going to tell you this, even though you blow through it, doesn't mean it won't be respected coming back down. This is one, one example. But notice we came down, we found support, but also, notice this uh, yellow trend line. This was resistance, resistance. This is a parallel channel. We had support, support, support. But we broke below it. So, you know, most people say, well, if you're breaking out of this uh, parallel channel, you have a much larger move. But we didn't. We actually pushed back up. But notice right here, and I'll show you this. I know you can't really see my mouse. But we found support here. found support here the orange trend line. We found support on it again. Now, I drew this I drew this yellow one after the fact, but I drew this one based off of this and these two points of contact. So, yes, you could have found this point right here, you know, using using this point of contact, this point of contact, obviously this would be the next point of contact. Trend lines are your friend, always use trend lines. But because I had this chart showing this would be support and we were coming up on this ring, this told me, hey, that's a point to buy. That's why I was saying 44,200 looks like a point to potentially buy and catch a bounce. This is how it played out. Um, you know, For me, I, I got out at 2% profit. You say, well, that's not much profit, but when you're playing with one Bitcoin, 2% of 44,000 isn't anything to laugh at. So again, I got out, and people say, well, why would you get out at 2%? Well, the reason I got out at 2% is because we were underneath this trend line. Hit it, rejected, hit it, rejected, hit it, rejected, hit it, rejected. Obviously, if we break above this trend line, then that is bullish to go much higher, and we'll see how that played out. But I just want to show you how I keep you guys updated with my trades and, and how to play these charts. Uh, so again, like I said, we found support on this ring. We could push higher. Again, I just want to show you these rings are amazing for finding points or points to, um, you know, for support and resistance. I'm not going to get too lost in the weeds here. I'm just going to show you this is the next point. I could go over each one of these FIB channel lines and explain them. You can watch previous videos if you like, but you can see this was resistance, this was resistance, this was resistance, this was support, this was resistance, resistance. I mean, it just goes on and on. Right here, it was perfect resistance. Look at this, perfect resistance. So look, if we drop, I do have multiple charts, guys. This is for a larger drop target. 
compared to other charts that have smaller targets. If we push up according to this chart, watch to get rejected at potentially 48,150. If we drop, your next support to watch is 41,960. I know for a fact, I actually have multiple charts showing 42,000 strong support. The more charts I have showing uh, support at the same point tells me that is definitely a point to catch a bounce, probably a larger bounce. The more charts I have showing that point charted a different way, more likely that's going to be a pretty good bounce. So again, watch 41,900 to potentially 42,000 to catch a nice bounce. The current support right now is right here at this ring, around 44,000. Uh, this chart, so let me show you. So this is what I was talking about. You know, we came down, we found support on this orange trend line that matched up with this ring right here. This ring here. So again, that's why I bought there and I got out again because of this trend line right here. But again, just want to show you, so if you come down uh, a smaller target, look, I'm going to go back and let me show you. So you can see, and again, some of these are more obvious, like you can see this was a lot more obvious. We found resistance, support, 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 perfect resistance right here. So look, support, support, perfect resistance. So that's obvious that that's a very strong resistance and support level. So the one right here, you know, you can see that this has been tested, just not as strong as the others, but again, you can catch a bounce here. So as I'm saying, always go back and look left and see how many times it was tested. This was tested, notice it didn't push up to it. So, you know, I would say that this, this right here is a much stronger support resistance level. You can see we got rejected, hit it, support resistance, resistance. So the more times it's tested, the stronger it would be a support. So if I pull this out, also take note, perfect, let me, perfect resistance. Look at that, right to the tick, and it came back down. So that's why I'm saying, if we break below 43,550, your next strong support to watch, hey, how about that? 42,000, 41,991, 42,000, that matches with this chart right here, 42,000. Very strong support to pay attention to. Let me grab the tip of this. So that's what I'm saying, 42,000 is a likely point to catch a bounce. So again, they're charted different ways, but again, if, char if targets match, that's confirmation for me there'll be very strong support or very strong resistance. Notice we're pushing up. I got out too soon. I could have stayed in. Notice we're breaking above this. When when you're below, guys, I teach this and I try to show you guys this on Twitter. If you are below a trend line, you hit it, come down, hit it, come down, hit it, come down. As soon as you break it, sorry my mouse is dying on me, I think. You hit it, come down, hit it, come down, hit it, come down. As soon as you break above it, come down and test it, that is bullish to potentially go higher. So, you know, I've, I'm recording a video right now. Otherwise, I would have bought back in. We hit this point to ride it up. So, again, I'm just showing you, you know, that's why I got out. It did come back down, push back up, cross. So, you know, always use trend lines. But that is, again, that's why I got out. But your resistance above, hopefully I have this video up soon. We'll, we'll have to see how this played out. So you can see your resistance above, according to this chart. You see we were finding support, support. We broke it. We came down, so your resistance now is 45,807. So if we come up, we could get rejected, then come back down, potentially test, you know, 43,661. If that breaks, you know, definitely strong support at 42,000. Uh, this was a video I put out on, uh, actually, this is a live stream. I haven't done many live streams lately. I'm going to start doing more. And the next live stream is where I pick those two winners for the coins. But notice right here on this chart, this is a 70220. Notice this orange um, line here and this yellow line. So this orange line is 40, at the time, this is at an angle, 45,400, 48,348. So I was saying that it was likely we would come up and hit this point and get rejected. That is not how it played out. We just pushed right through it. So these people say, well, that didn't work. But guys, again, and I did mention this, if we push above it, watch and see if it ends up being resistant and being support like I showed you before, just like right here. Just like this ring, this ring was resistance. Notice right here we hit it, got rejected. We blew right through it, but what happened? We came down and found support. So that is the same thing uh, with what I was saying here. If we pushed above 40, uh, $45,400, know, this could end up being support to buy back in to write it up. I made a post about this in the community section you can check out on YouTube. But look, 48348 is the yellow line. 45,400 is orange line. 
and that is this chart here. So look, let me get rid of all these squigglies. So just to show you how this played out, well, yes, we did push above it. We pushed above this point. You know, we just shot right through it. Forty-five thousand three hundred eighty-six. That's just likely to get rejected. But this is what ended up being support. And look where we topped out. We topped out right here, right where I told you was your next. Go back and watch that live stream. I'll put a link up to it now if you want to watch it. The link will be in the description. Forty-eight thousand three hundred forty-eight. So if we get above this point, this is your next resistance, right at that yellow line. And guys. We hit it to the tick and got rejected. And where was our support? This orange trend line right here that I said would be our resistance or flip support. Instead of getting rejected, we pushed above it. Support, resistance, support, 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 and then we broke it and we came down. So guys, I'm just showing you these charts are accurate to give you support and resistance levels. While yes, you might push past it, Pay attention because that will flip a support. And notice we topped out right here, just like I said. If we would have hit it sooner, that would have matched this target right here. But again, I'm just showing you how accurate these charts are. So look, 48,762, that would be the same trend line we topped out up here. Uh, if we do push up, you know, watch to get rejected at 45,822. If we come down, 43,661. And again, I'll be buying at 42,000. A lot of charts showing that strong support. Uh, let me go through this. So this is another chart. You know, again, I was referencing. Look, same thing when you're right here. This yellow trend line. Notice we were finding support. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Support, support, support. As soon as you break it and you come back up as resistance, this likely point is going to change trajectory, and that is what happened. So it can be a support or a resistance. We were hitting it, rejected, hit it, rejected, hit it, rejected. Came down, found support. This is where I would have bought in. I'm recording video, so I didn't. Let me give you some uh, support and resistance levels on this chart. All right, so again, these are rings, by the way. Um, notice we did top out close to this ring. So look, 48,411. And then support, you know, watch right here, 43,050. Uh, just out of curiosity, and what is this right here? So this is a trend line. This is around 40,500. And again, if you go back and you look at the chart, you can see why. I mean, when, when a certain line or ring's been respected, chances are to be respected again. Now, I did tell you guys in a, in a post, I said, look, when we hit this point, I would short right here. People said, you're crazy shorting in a bull run. That's insane. Well, actually, you know, we did come down. You know, we didn't come down a lot. It was like 2.77%. But my point was, when you come up to this point, you know this point potentially take profit to buy back in cheaper. Obviously, if you just stayed in, you were fine, but I like to swing trade on the way up and the way down. But you can see we did respect this ring as resistance right here, pushed up. So a likely point to catch a bounce will be right here. And right here is around 43,200. So again, as I'm saying, load up different charts over support and resistance levels. This here is another chart. This is for larger targets uh, to the upside and the downside. This is the Binance 2.0 chart. So if we do have a substantial drop, look, your next major support, and guys, this will be support uh, right here, um, 41,000, oh, look at that, 40, 41,500, not quite where my other target was, but pretty close to it, but you can see this has been very strong support and resistance. If we go back, how far back does it go? <laughs> wow, that goes back a good ways. All right, hold on, I'm gonna pull this back. All right, let me pull this all the way back. Just show you how you know price will respect a trend line for a long time. Uh, I, I might hit it again. No, I didn't. So all the way back since um, September 3rd, 2020. Notice that look. Support, support, resistance, resistance, resistance. Then we came down. And it took a while before we touched it again. It was uh, the 27th of December. It became resistance, support, support, perfect support. So what I'm saying, guys, when you find the trajectory price is following, you can predict moves way in advance. Support, as soon as we broke it, down we came. Where do we find support? Right on this red trend line. Support, support, resistance. Push back up. You got more resistance right here. More resistance, support and resistance. So uh, that's why I'm saying if we come down, this is likely a point to catch a bounce. Right here's 41,200. 41, 
out here is 41,713. So I'm saying if we come down, this is a likely point to buy in. Catch the balance, 41,000. Your current resistance right now, 45,148. You get above that fine support, that's bullish to go much higher. Your next major support below that is going to be here, 36,729. Why? Well, look at all of the support and resistance. This is the trajectory price is following. So I'm just giving you some price targets to pay attention to. Uh, this one right here, you know, I made a, a tweet and a post in the community section. I said your resistance was right here uh, at this gray line. This was resistance. We came down from this point. So that played out uh, nicely. Your next support according to this chart. Again, certain charts are for smaller targets. 43,442. Your next target, 41,500. So this, I have two charts showing this target, 41,500, and two charts showing 42,000. But you can see this clearly was following the screen line back. A lot of support and resistance on this. You can definitely see that here. Resistance, resistance, support, resistance. Came down, support, support. So again, that's what I'm saying. When you know the trajectory price is following, you have a good idea where to catch a bounce just like we caught a bounce right here on this ring still pushing up uh, okay so this does cover Bitcoin and some price targets so I'm gonna give you some price targets for Ethereum and Litecoin again guys um, when the dollar pushes up well just historically you can see this this was uh, the 2nd of January 2017 this is 22nd of January 2018 uh, dollar coming down Bitcoin pushes up. As soon as the dollar pushes up, Bitcoin comes down. And you can see what's going on over here. We are in a falling wedge. Uh, the dollar has been coming down, right? Bitcoin has been pushing up like crazy. Notice what happened. This is typically what happens when you break up from a falling wedge. So look, look where we found support. We came down. Bouncing back and forth, we broke to the upside, and we found support right on top. This means it's very possible the dollar can start pushing up. If that's the case, Bitcoin can start coming down. Do pay attention to that. This chart's available under BTC related. This is the uh, dollar. This is not the dollar index. This is under stocks. Um, you can see this trend line here. You can see that we broke this. You see that it was support here. There's a lot of yellow on this chart. Support, support, support 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 we broke it we came down and notice just like I showed you on this chart uh, actually this chart so notice right here this orange trend line for Bitcoin notice we were finding resistance underneath it as soon as we broke it it became support same thing with the DXY guys same thing so this right here is our current resistance it seems like this week are kind of bouncing back and forth but look if this is our resistance right here it make this different color so you can see it this is our resistance for the dollar. If the dollar breaks, if it holds support above here and breaks above, comes down as support, that is bullish for the dollar to push up. And as you can already see, we're testing the top of a falling wedge, which is a bullish pattern to potentially push to the upside, just like this last one. Came down, pushed to the upside. And Bitcoin is a hedge against the US dollar. So if the dollar starts mooning, I imagine Bitcoin's going to start coming down. Just want to make you aware of that. The Dow Jones, um, this is interesting. Now, we did come down below this point. Now, I've talked about this chart for a while. Uh, let me get rid of the MACD. So I've been talking about this. So this, this was a lot of resistance. We did briefly push above it back here on the 25th of January 2018. Right here, we cannot get above it. Uh, you can see up here, this was when we had our COVID crash. Notice we came up, we tested it got rejected, tested it, and we had our crash. So I was talking that it was possible that we would get rejected and then cross this point. Now we did push above it. And you hit it, rejected, hit it, rejected, hit it, rejected, came down, we did get rejected. We did push above it, now it's support. So look, I'll tell you that as long as we're above that point, at least for the Dow, that's potentially bullish that we could go much higher. But, you know, we'll have to see what happens over the next couple of days. If we get back below this point, if we get back below uh, 31,285, again, this has been very strong resistance. Now we're above it as support, at least on the daily, which I think is significant. So if we stay above this point, guys, it's very possible. And here's what I think is more likely. If we stay above 
we stay above this point and make contact with this orange line, it's possible we're going to pump. If that pumps, that's going to be bullish for the markets, the Dow, the S&P, um, NASDAQ, and for Bitcoin. If we come back below this point and we cross this, I think this is the point we're going to get a major correction with the stock market. So pay attention to that. Now, I'm not saying we could actually hit this point. You know, we could cross it and still get a drop, but pay attention when we make contact with this uh, FIB channel line, this orange FIB channel line right here. And I've, I showed you this in yesterday's video or a couple of videos back. You know, notice what happens. We, we cross we cross the FIB channel. FIB channel support, support became resistance, came down. Cross this FIB channel, drop. Cross this FIB channel, drop. So what I'm saying is when we cross this FIB channel, it is very likely at this point we could have a major dump, or we could ride up this for a pump. So I'm just showing you how I'm, that's why I'm saying late February is possible, that we could have a major correction, or we could ride up this and get a pump. So pay attention to the date when we cross this, it's under stocks. This one is actually called Dow Jones 123020. Ethereum, um, if you have access to these charts, this is the 120120. You can see how accurate this chart's been. I mean, it goes way back. But just, I mean, look at this right here. We got perfect, um, perfect resistance right here, one thousand four hundred seventy-five dollars. Uh, then it became support right here. Notice it was, um, it was resistance, came down to support, resistance, support, pushed up, support, resistance, and you can see over here when we pushed up, perfect resistance at this fib channel line. So we topped out just so happens where Ethereum topped out was right <laughs> right here 1837 the very last line I actually have in this chart this is why I'm going to be updating all the charts guys because some of these I don't have higher targets but again what are the chances that we top out right at this line I mean we hit this point and came down so is that a top I don't know but it is resistance and where is your support? Well, if we come down, a likely support level for Ethereum, 1,647. If we come down below that, your next support is going to be down here at 1,472. So that's why I'm going to be updating, creating more charts, giving you more upside targets. And again, as price moves along, these charts should be updated or recreated. Litecoin, same thing, guys. You can see how accurate this chart's been. Notice, uh, and I'm just kind of showing you, as I was showing you previously with other charts, notice this line right here. Notice how many times it was tested, and it probably goes back further, but I know this is going on a little long. But notice this was resistance, resistance, support, 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 break it, crash. So that is likely very strong support and resistance. So if we pull this out, look, we got topped out right at that point. So this is how I'm showing you how to play these charts. When you see a trend line or a FIB channel line, go back, see how price interacted with it. You can see this right here. This is the next FIB channel line below. Again, this is Litecoin, guys. But notice right here, this was support. A lot of support resistance through here. Perfect resistance here. So where's another strong support level? Well, that support level is now resistance. And you can see why. Again, it's not horizontal, guys. Price doesn't always just respect a horizontal line. I mean, it's not, it's not always just a horizontal line. Oh, well, you know, you come down, it's resistance, it flips as support. I mean, this is over a period of, this goes all the way back. This is, you know, right here is uh, the 3rd of January, 2021. And we're still respecting the same trend line. So right here is your resistance. So your resistance right now for Litecoin. $181. Your support for Litecoin, your next support, which you can see, perfect support right here. Look at that. Support pushed all the way up. 6%. So guys, I'm telling you, if you push up, your resi your resistance is going to be $192. Your current resistance is $181. If you drop, watch to catch support at $170. If that does not hold, your next support level to watch is right here, $158. And you can see, this has been a lot of support and resistance right here so that's how you read the charts that's how you play the charts i think it will make a tutorial at some point when i update all these new uh, have the new charts up showing you how i play the charts just giving you a little idea how to go through pretty much what i just did in this video but guys that's pretty much it that just covers um the uh 
uh, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. I did want to point out though guys, if the Dow Jones does come below this yellow line, and we do cross this, if you do pay attention to this, because this is important, I mean, this is just the Dow, but if the Dow comes down, the other ones will come down as well, the NASDAQ and SP. But if we get below this point, below 31,266, this becomes resistance. When we cross this orange uh, trend line, that's when I expect us to get a, expect us to get a big move. It's possible to the downside. I'm not going to say it can't go to the upside, but pay attention, because when we cross these, um, these fifth channel lines, that's when you get these big moves, just like I showed you down here. Uh, so that covers that. Um, again, if you want to go back and see those price targets, just rewind. But if you do want to win one of these coins, it's um, all you have to do is leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And the next live stream, I use random comment selector to pick the two winners. And again, I have plenty of coins. If you don't win, you'll win next time. If you do want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter's private. You have to be subscribed to my charts. Again, that's opticalartcrypto.com. The link will be pinned to the first comment in the description. Bitcoins, altcoins, precious metal stocks, and tutorials. Guys, that's it. Till the next video. Trade safe.